Welcome back to my channel everyone, Shri Tips here, and today it's Silver Day. I've got all these silver solutions that are backing up on me, and so what I need to do is get some of these things processed. I've got these three solutions here saved from some gold refining. Here you can see my uh, vacuum gauge up here and I've got a vacuum limiting switch so when the vacuum gets up to a certain point it shuts back off so that the vacuum doesn't go way up and poke a hole in my filter paper. And uh, what I've got here, these are some silver solutions from my gold refining operation. And what we're going to do is going to filter these now get all the solids out of the uh, silver in this blue solution once I get the solution filtered and get all the solids out of it I'll take the filtrate and I add the filtrate to a bucket over here and in this bucket I've got some pieces of copper and I just cement the silver out of the solution onto some pieces of copper in here. Here I have another flask set up and what I'll do is uh, install a filter paper in here this funnel is a plastic two-piece Buchner funnel and I like using these plastic ones when I'm cleaning out my cement silver all right I've got this small filter in here cover up the holes now what we do is we take a larger 12.5 centimeter filter and I fit it down in there so I've got two filters in the bottom of this funnel now what we'll do got a five gallon bucket here and it's oh, pretty much loaded with cement silver oh, man things pretty heavy now what I'll do is dip some of our cement silver out of this bucket I'm saving this up in this five gallon bucket here Now I'm adding some distilled water. And what, what the goal here is to try to get all the uh, blue liquid rinsed off of our cement silver. I've got a little glass rod. And I just stir it up as uh, the water gets pulled through it. two filters in there to protect against the filter tearing as I'm stirring it like this 
So two filters provide some protection from the uh, filter tearing as I stir it like this. I've got some distilled water on over here heating up. So what we'll do now is we're going to use hot distilled water to rinse the silver off. filter flask here if you look down in there you can see I've got some undissolved pieces of sterling silver in there still and we want to see that because that means that we've uh, consumed just about every bit of excess nitric that could be in that solution Now what we'll do is take our filter off of here. I'm going to set it up out of the way temporarily. And now this blue liquid is going to be full of copper. And so what we want to do with this is I've got a bucket set up over here for all my copper solutions. And it's full of... Uh, copper itself but I add it to this bucket and then if there's any silver or other precious metals in this blue liquid it will cement out on the copper that's in the bottom of this bucket and then I'll take this blue liquid and add this blue liquid to my waste treatment bucket that's full of angle iron and cement the copper out as uh, part of the waste treatment process. I've got our flask rinsed out. So what we want to do now is reconnect our vacuum line and then get our funnel with our silver in it up here and continue to rinse the silver. I've reestablished the vacuum to this flask. So now we're going to continue to add boiling distilled water to get all the uh, copper solution rinsed off of our cement silver. The longer we spend time here rinsing the copper off, the uh, less copper there will be that must be dealt with when we melt this up into shot and run it through the silver cell. Back over here at our filtering station you can see that the uh, solution is starting to fill that flask up. And I gotta watch it so we don't get so high in the flask up here so that we start sending silver down the waste pipe or down the uh, vacuum line there. In here we've got our uh, sterling silver pieces still left in there so we can use this. Now we've got some room in this jar to pour off our uh, gold refining silver solutions when we do our uh, nitric boils from encording the gold. We've still got some solution left in our funnel here not much but well we might be able to make it let's see what happens here getting real close to being too full now let's just go ahead and show you what we do in a situation like this 
what I normally would do is just pull this off take the funnel put it in a beaker set it off to the side then we'll take one of our silver nitrate jars over here or silver nitrate storage bottles and just pour a little bit of the solution off to make some room in our flask now I've got some room in the flask move this back out of the way reconnect the vacuum line and reinstall our funnel here Now we're going to rinse our funnel out real good here. Get all the silver solution rinsed out and down into the flask. And you'll notice that the paper filter has some black material in it. And this could be precious metals. So once we get all the uh, silver rinsed off of this filter, I'll save that filter and put it in my paper storage for later recovery. I've got all the silver nitrate pulled through that filter now. Shut off the vacuum. And remove our funnel. So what I have here is a empty nitric acid bottle. And I use it to store my silver nitrate solutions until I'm ready to cement them out on copper. I'm going to rinse our funnel out. Now what I'll do is add the rinse from this flask. It's got a little bit of silver in it to our cementation bucket where we're cementing the silver out on the pieces of copper. This is the silver nitrate that we just filtered. And so what we'll do is we'll add a little bit of this into our uh, cementation bucket. Just to show you what we're doing here, how this progression works. And uh, this bucket's pretty full, so I'm not going to put a whole bunch in there right now. But uh, that's what we do with it. We'll, we'll add the silver bearing solution to my bucket that's full of copper and cement the silver out. Once I get all the silver cemented out of this solution, what I do then is I transfer it into this other silver bucket. This is a five gallon bucket. It's full of cement silver. It's probably about a quarter of a bucket of cement silver. And now what I need to do with the rest of this in this bucket is rinse it all off of the blue liquid like we've done here. I pretty much got all the water and liquid pulled off of here now. So what we're going to do is take our uh, funnel that's got our silver in it 
And what I do is I've got a jar or a pan over here. And uh, I add the silver to this pan. Now remember, this is a plastic funnel. Just like so. And then what we'll do is we'll set this up on the heat and let this dry. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, take our flask with our waste solution in it here. We'll add this to the bucket. Once we've got our silver dried off completely, what I'll do is transfer it down into this plastic bucket. And then we'll melt it up in a furnace and I pour it in water to form these granules. And then once we get it into this form, we add this impure silver to the silver cell here in the anode filter basket up top. What we do is we pass an electric current 3.5 volts DC through the impure silver up here in the anode basket. The electric current dissolves the silver and the silver ions travel through the electrolyte here in my silver cell. The electrolyte is made out of silver nitrate and uh, silver plates out as high purity silver crystal on the inside of the silver cell here. The cathode is a stainless steel bowl and then once we run this for about 10 days we'll get some high purity silver just like you see right here. This is from a previous harvest. Alright, this will conclude the Silver Day Silver Refining video. Thank you for watching.